What's up guys? Welcome to the new Rockon vlog and yes, you see the Razan, one of my favorite builds with it and I actually never took it for a proper ride and we're gonna change that today we're gonna see what this bike is capable of and I'm gonna throw a lot of tricks with the bike and, and I'm gonna share with you why I think the KTM 390 Duke is the best entry-level bike for someone that just started riding bikes or for someone that is our experienced rider already and why is this bike the most popular bike for tuning around the world so guys i'm gonna share with you something that you can't find in the normal reviews of the ktm 390 duke on the internet and that's my seven years experience with the bike and let's start with the first topic the price okay let's be honest the ktm 390 duke is not really the cheapest option in his segment but it comes with a really good performance package like no other and one day will be the time that you want to sell it and maybe to upgrade to a bigger bike and then the point of the price and the value of the bike will be important and the KTM keeps his price really stable through the years we can compare it to the Apple products which also you need to pay a bit more on the beginning but they keep their price through the year and it's same with the KTM 390 Duke As you can clearly see, my KTM 390 Duke AK Razan is totally tricked out. You probably also saw my build off series. And this leads to the next topic, customizing. The corner rocket and his little brother, the 125 Duke, became super popular around the world as a bike for tuning. Since they have a vast variety of aftermarket parts, such as like uh, parts for performance upgrades, styling upgrades or protection parts. Of course, the 390 Duke is a great bike as it is, but you know, who doesn't like a bit of personal touch? And Dominic, by the way, we built so many bikes together. What is your favorite part on the bike that we always customize? I think the exhaust. Okay, that's my favorite too. <laughs> If you need to choose one thing when we style the bike, I would say the wheels, but not on this one. You mean the when paint of the disc, or no? I mean the stunt bike that we put the carbon plates on. Ah, the carbon plate. Okay. And what would be your favorite protection part? How would you protect your bike? With which part? I don't know. Since uh, the exhaust is my favorite part. Uh -huh. uh, output uh, something for the exhaust which we don't have here yeah, <laughs> so no. I hope we are not crashing but you mean like the exhaust protector or something like yeah, that or yeah. the sub cage yeah the sub cage or like we once have this X pattern protectors yeah that's the, the exhaust protector exactly yeah that's a cool part actually very cheap but very effective in case of a crash that's why I don't have that thing on my bike we need to fix that soon <laughs> what I would also like to point out what I really find unique on the KTM Duke bikes it's actually that uh, you can buy like sticker kits from many different brands and many different styles and I didn't see that on some other brands so this is something that KTM is pretty unique and you can really completely change the look of the whole bike and also on my Razan okay here we we have a sticker kit but it's actually a paint job in in general it is tricked out but there is always place for a bit of more tuning so what we did to that bike we added a bit of more protection beside the engine covers from KTM power parts we now have the crash bobbins Bagarosh Performance. Get your parts at bagarosheperformance.com. And we had here a uh lever protector but i didn't have the mirror so i removed the lever protectors and i 
put those sick uh, KTM power parts bar and mirrors and I think the bike looks now even cooler as it is. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you what I mean that the bike has a great performance package. Let's go! go as planned okay I can fix that mirror do we have some scratches damn my baby no but we have a crash bobbin right actually that's the proper crash bobbin test and actually dude there is no scratches on the bike otherwise I scratched the brand new mirror which is not so cheap and a little scratch on the adjustable lever but actually the whole bike guys this wasn't planned at all luckily we have the crash bobbin and the engine cover okay i don't know if i should be happy or not but definitely i'm not happy i knew this is gonna happen man <laughs> okay let's go to the next topic the next topic i want to talk about is about the durability of the whole bike and especially the engine believe me guys i know what i'm talking about here because last 10 years i was putting the KTM Duke bikes through hell and back through my stunt riding where I crash a lot where I make a lot of burnouts a lot of noise a lot of extreme stuff definitely for what those bikes are not built and surprisingly they overcome that stress without any big issues actually so if I go now to the frame you saw just now I crashed and there is there is no mounts broken or nothing bent of course because it's protected but still you know some frames would crack on that point or the bars would be bent and so on but this bike I need to do some little repairments with the side mirror and so on and then the bike is ready to ride again and the engine it overheated many times what we did it's always of course normal uh, maintenance with oil changes and filters i have many different duke 390s at home and of course there will be different opinions but my experience is i had any big issue and my opinion is that this engine is extremely durable and also when i travel around the world i met different dukers that shared this similar story with me about the durability and they were super happy how the bikes are built there is one guy specifically from chile if i remember good and he did over 100,000 kilometers without any big problem he said uh, only as same as me only normal maintenance and that's it so yeah hats off to the ktm engineers you did a really good job there and if you're a guy that also uh, wants to go a bit hooligan as me with the bike that's the perfect bike for you okay guys that's about the durability of the bike and now i suggest we go to the downtown city and i show you what this bike has that every biker actually loves to have Next topic, community. It's a big, big thing if you're a KTM rider, especially a Duke rider. And this is one thing that I really love since I started to ride Dukes. This is Nick 
and we just met randomly I just posted on Facebook and asked if there is somebody that rides a Duke and has time in 30 minutes and Nick was actually 30 minutes ago you said I'm gonna come after school and now we are here right yes <laughs> so yeah and this is what I love on the Duke community everywhere in the world where I've been there is a lot of KTM Duke clubs where people meet, uh, talk about the bikes and, and the trips they want to go together and actually you have also a lot of Facebook groups, a lot of forums so this is something special that the KTM Duke has and this is what I also like uh, on being a Duke rider myself so Nick, one quick question or actually two or three questions is uh, this is a 125 Duke, right? Yeah, yes. Right. And how long do you ride that bike? Um, this bike specifically for about a year. For one year. I see how much you should tell, told me before, 15,000 kilometers in one year. I think I didn't do this much kilometers on all my 10 bikes in the last 10 years. But okay, since you did so many kilometers, did you have any problems with the bike or something in this way? Not really. My gearbox uh, sometimes doesn't really work good. When I try to go from 4th to 5th gear, uh -huh. it goes to uh, neutral. A neutral. I heard that uh, problem uh, sometimes also. Yeah, this is, I would say, a uh, minus point on the on the KTM Dukes. So KTM engineers, you know you, where you need to improve. Okay, and one other question. What do you like on your KTM Duke so far? not really a heavy bike to drive uh -huh. so like it's agile it's like easy to learn on this bike okay it's roughly made he's telling the same points i was telling before so i really am happy <laughs> to hear the same thing again okay uh i had one more question actually we said it's a good beginner's bike and it's good platform as you said, it's, it's a strong bike, it has good equipment. I love to tune bikes, right? I love to customize the bikes. But what is your uh, wish in the future? Are you planning to, to upgrade your Duke a bit or are you gonna keep it stock? Um, I'm probably only gonna put the slip on back on. Ah, so you have a uh, aftermarket as well. GPR. GPR. And I see a DAY tail titty. <laughs> okay, the angle here is not really legal in Slovenia. <laughs> so when police comes, you kick it back with the with the foot, so it's the right angle, right? <laughs> it really makes the whole bike different when you have a short tail, right? Yeah, a lot prettier. It's a, a way sexier, yeah, exactly. So sprocket is stock and you have the uh, the guards here so i can see you've been a motocross rider so you have still the motocross influence on your duke and is there something else you want to put in the future on your bike i would want to buy a powertronic cdi but avoid my warranty i don't know about that but uh, i have a system we're gonna hook you up call me after this vlog and we're gonna we're gonna do something that keeps your warranty but uh, gives you a bit more power on your duke okay nick thank you for your time and uh, stay safe on the road with the duke enjoy and yeah let's meet uh, next time when i come to ljubljana The 390 Duke is a great city bike and for commuting it's perfect and through the 
tight uh, traffic but as you could see this bike feels comfortable in the twisty roads and in the corners leaning left and right and it's not only a fun bike for the beginners but definitely for experienced riders i have a lot of fun with the 390 duke and i have some friends that they also race on the weekends but through the week they use the 390 and they always say they love it of course it doesn't have the 140 horsepower but it has enough punch to accelerate out of the corner and the torque of the engine and the 43 horsepower is more than enough to have a lot of fun with the bike and the last topic i want to point out it's the ergonomics of the bikes why because a lot of friends and a lot of dukers around the world were always talking about that the bike fits perfectly for the people that are a bit shorter like for example shorties the girls and they cannot reach the the floor and with the duke the seat position is pretty low so there is no problem uh, for that ktm offers also a lowering kit in their power parts catalog so you can even lower the bike a bit more and it's not only for the short people also for tall so also this plastic and its ergonomics is designed so people around 190 centimeters can fit to the bike i'm 172 so i fit on the bike perfectly it doesn't feel too small or not too big it's like perfect for me and guys this is my opinion why the ktm 390 duke is the best beginner's bike on the market and i would like to hear also your opinion what makes a good beginner's bike so drop some comments below and share some thoughts uh, maybe you have uh, some ideas what a beginner's bike needs to have maybe i forgot something so guys that's it for this time i need to come down from this mountain it's getting dark so let's suit up and see you in the next vlog share the vlog share with your friends bring some new guys to our channel and see you next week until then rock on